the most obvious ways I'll know that you're a bot or a fisher or a fake account looking for sh I don't know what the fake accounts always look for. If you insist on live chatting after I've already told you that I'll answer any questions you have, but I might be in and out. I don't sit around for chat. I find small talk to be exceptionally tedious. If you have a question for me, ask it. Be straightforward. Skip the greetings. I find it rude to have to sit through greetings, than a ruder to sit through greetings than it is to have to greet people. Just be straightforward, say what you want. I don't use my time for live chat. No, I will not move over to WhatsApp or any other app. I try to keep my phone relatively app free. I just keep it uncluttered. There's no reason to have 50 million profiles. I do all my business here on Facebook. Uh, ask me something about my art or something specific or personal, I'll answer it. I'm reading rants from my Facebook page still. I'll rarely ever be able to chat live, but I do answer questions and that aren't how are you, or what's up, or how's it going, or send me naked video. If you start your conversation with that useless small talk shit or pervy, pervy ass begging, prepare to be ignored or blocked. If there's something you want to ask me, ask it, then give me time to answer. I will not answer right away. I usually need a day or a few weeks, depending on what my anxiety is doing that time, at the time, especially if you're a source of that anxiety. The moment you say, but I just want to get to know you better to keep me chatting, I'll know you're not genuine. Bye. Don't contact me again unless you have something to say or specific questions about my artwork.